it's going to help you create viewports easier, but also set up sheets and keep track of things a lot better. So, all right, so we're into the last tip now, and this one might be one of the ones that I don't actually use that often, but I should be. It's a huge time saver, especially if you've got busy and confusing projects or large areas, and that is creating named views for specific areas within your drawing. It's going to help you create viewports easier, but also set up sheets and keep track of things a lot better. So named views, if you're going to uh, navigate to them, you're going to want to go to the ribbon tab, uh, the view tab in the ribbon up here on the top left. Now this little box here is what you're interested in, and in particular, new view. Uh, you can type in n view to start this command or simply click new view. You're going to give your view a name, so we're going to call this one, say, kitchen for our scenario, but this could be like stage one or area two, uh, depending on what your site or area or location is named. Um, we don't have a category for it set, and we're going to just click still. So this is going to be a single location. Now, I've clicked define boundary. I want to define where I want this view to be. And this is basically just going to allow you to quickly jump from one area to another. So I've selected my view, I'm going to hit enter, and I'm just going to hit OK. So now you can see on the top here, I've got kitchen. It's just going to automatically take me to the kitchen room. Now I'm, I can create another new view here. I can call this one uh, dining room. Now, you can see where this would be useful with many large projects. Uh, anywhere where you have to remember different locations and areas or have specific zoom-ins or viewports for different sites within your project. Now, where this is coming in handy with viewports, we're going to go to this example floor plan one here. And so on the left, I've got a viewport that simply shows all of my kitchen bathroom, laundry room, the entire floor plan. On the right, I'd like to create a quick view of one of my named views. So what I can do here is go to the layout tab again and click insert view. It's going to show me my two options. I'm going to choose the kitchen and I'm just going to hit OK or click to place it. You can see that it's automatically placed the view that I've already set up automatically in a viewport in my layout. Now I can do another one here for dining room. And now we've got a quick three view drawing that I've done almost nothing to set up. I simply clicked and added these viewports. They're automatically in. They've even been set to the proper scale. They're at a quarter inch equals one. And now I'm ready to go.